So, uh, I did say I will g I'm going to do this. So, I am going to do this now. It's been a few months since I last mentioned I'm going to do this. So, now I have time to actually do this. Okay. So, if you're wondering, for those who have gone going to the counterattack playlist and looking at this random live unscripted nonsense you see over here. Okay, so here's what this video is. It was more of a confirmation that Counter-Attack is cancelled, but I want to give you guys some of the details that what would have gone if I decided to continue it since like 20, what, 13. So, okay. But I'm only really going to mention episode 17, episode 18, because those are actually fully scripted. It just has never been edited. So I fully scripted both of these. I never, never even bothered to um, do anything about it. And I did have a plan for a lot more episodes, like around like almost 30. So that would have been like insanity if I didn't imagine to, to do it all in like the, what, couple of years that I would have had between the last time I actually edited Counter-Attack and now. So anyway, let's go mention this. So... Uh, as as uh, I mentioned earlier, Counter-Attack is in fact cancelled. For those who don't know what Counter-Attack is, look at the Counter-Attack playlist. Anyway, uh, for what I, what I had planned for Season 2 was I wanted to do a, a story arc revolving Hades from Kid Icarus. Uh, he's probably the, the main villain through all of this. Uh, and I've had like a, like a hint or two during the, the few episodes I actually did uh, upload. But he is, is like the main villain, and I wanted to like um, structure Counter Attack so that it'll involve a lot of the uh, a lot of the worlds of Counter Attack uh, to mostly band together, to defeat like a bunch of the uh, villains that Hades has put into um, all different worlds, and the basically the response of Palutena to again send characters from Kid Icarus into those other worlds so that uh, they can um, help deal with, like, the Hayes' minions. Okay. So, from from the start of season 2, episode 11, up to episode 16, uh, the main focus is, uh, of the uh, this was episode 11 is more of a Pikmin-focused episode. Uh, or rather, my character-focused episode. Uh, and it was mostly deal with the beginning of, of, of the sort of thing and why characters shut down the... Uh, shut down the hub. So, and I wanted, uh, I want kind of, I want to have some sort of setup, uh, so that, uh, everything here can, like, actually happen. Uh, episode 12, Bill's PC, is mostly focused on Sabrina and of Waluigi. So, Waluigi has, like, his, his just to have, have his own episode, um, uh, going ahead and real like, something's off. And, um, Sabrina, with, like, having been quite lonely, having to deal with, uh, this one kid who, uh, just keeps pestering her. To get her badge, but it kind of sucks. Uh, but then Iris and Bill show up later on and uh, try to fix all this nonsense going on. Uh, episode 13 focuses on, on uh, Phoenix Wright, Severa, and Ginchio. Uh, the episode called Mag uh, Magical Arrestment has to do with, with, with Phoenix and having to deal with like the appearance of, of this weird character named Magnus. And with like Severa being, being stuck in Ginchio's world, uh, having to train with her, and then Dark Pit showing up. Uh, 14 Wild Turtle Chase uh, focuses on Cooper and Bowser because I want to have a Cooper focused episode so I wanted to like find a way to incorporate him somewhere on this list I mean, on this uh, series uh, I kind of wanted to make Cooper's video a lot less focusing on the actual plot so technically it's filler but also has some sort of uh, uh, I guess we we'll say backstory of how did Cooper got there? Well, maybe not backstory, but like has something like a story of then trying to get back, um, and then stuff happening. But it's more like a, an extra thing, so it's not really part of the plot. Fifteen battle champions focus on Iris uh, and of Mistress. Mo get most on Iris and how um, how she got to Sabrina's location at the time she did, and some stuff that um, went on, on on Iris's life at the time, and Mistress having to find Morgan and. Uh, Trying to figure out the how to deal with things that happened in episode eleven. And sixteen lightning bots focus on Shantae. Like mostly Shantae and her friends have and found um Paddy Wagon from my Switch Force and like what's her deal with the plot and have to do with Riskin and and then Phosphorus showing up. 
uh, trying to figure out what is Pat, uh, Patty's um, role in uh, this whole plot going on. Okay, so that's all the episode really so far. And now I'm going to show like the completed script of episode 17 titled The First Day. Focuses on Pitt and, and Leipard. Now I'm going to um, put a, um, a twit longer post uh, just showing up the entire script. So... <coughs> Future me, remember to link that, link up the, the Twit Longer post on the description. If you don't, just do it, okay? Just just make Twit Longer post and then, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna try to skim through it because I'm not actually prepared to actually do this video. So I'm just gonna um, look through it and um, do necessary cuts if needed, Future me, you know what to do. So uh, here is uh, episode 17, the first day. Now, the reason why I call it the first day is that. For, uh, for those who have not who don't remember about Counter Attack or just watching this, you know, trying to play catch up, I have planned the whole thing, the whole plot, to span five whole days. Uh, and the first day, well, those five whole days, like after episode eleven. So, uh, so after episode eleven starts, the five days, uh, and each and each um, part in each episode has like diff jumps with different days. So I want to have like at least like a, a few episodes focusing on Pitt and every every like day he every days that he, he you know just jumps into. So all the different days episodes, yes, it's gonna be like one for every every day that Pitt's gonna be the main character because technically Pitt's the main character of the whole thing. So it's more of a Pitt versus Hades thing, but Pitt's kind of the main character through the whole thing. Because uh, more it's more like a more of a central character through all of it. So anyway, here's what's going on. So, so the uh, episode 17 starts off with what was supposed to be the introduction of Palutena to Counterattack. Now, if you, I'm probably wondering, um, I made a Splatoon Online episode that starts, you had a little gag involving Palutena. So rem remember that one Splatoon um, Online episode, it's like Palutena just randomly shows up, so I pit not to, not to, not to you know, uh, play my games, right? So around that time was when I wanted to make um, episode 17 of Counterattack. So it was actually that long ago that I wanted to do this. Uh, so so when the introduction of Palutena, and uh, she mentions that uh, there's like a problem that Hades is gone, and of course people were saying, "Oh, that's awesome! Hades gone!" Like how Palutena is like, "No, no, not that kind of gone. The other kind of gone. As if he's like disappeared. He's no longer." No longer in this world. And so, of course, both Pan and Palutena are kind of worried to see what's going on. If he, like, left the world, then that means that some, they must be do, doing whatever in, like, some other world. Uh, and then, and then, then Palutena mentioned something about the gateway. So, which is, like, the which is the link between, like, the real world you see here and the world of counterattack, which you see over the... Uh, so on the videos. So Palutena explains what it is. Because um, I kind of want to make a, a uh, make an episode figure out what the heck the gateway is, not just what it does. Um, so I figure out what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm just skimming, skimming through the, uh, the the script. And so uh, Palutena wants to get uh, help from basically everyone. To use up the uh, the gateway so that you could send all, all these characters in, uh, into uh, other worlds. And yes, I made so that Palutena can actually teleport people be, uh, between other worlds. And yes, it has been like shown in a different episode. But uh, as you know, in like the uh, episode Phoenix, right, that she's not very good at it. She hasn't done it that much before, but she can do it. So uh, we got Magnus and Dark Pit. Um, this is the uh, dawn of the first day. Uh, and uh, Magnus somehow somehow like manages to know who Dark Pit is, um, saying like, and, and who and who and who's your brother over there? And Dark Pit saying, I'm not his brother. And then Pit saying, Yeah, he's a mere counterpart. Long story, he's Dark Pit. And then Magnus saying, Dark Pit, that is uncreative. And Dark, Dark Pit saying, Your face is uncreative. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to make I wanted to make that exchange. So at that point, uh, Magnus. I don't really. I'm surprised I never really explained how Magnus can see Pit and Dark Pit. I should probably would have done that. I don't know. 
Uh, and then we got, and th so then shows up. Uh, what was he here? Oh, I made it so. Oh yeah, so that um, Pitt saying that uh, Lady Palatine wanted me to ha have you drink this potion, and so the idea is that Madness can't see the gods because he's human. However, he can see Pitt and he can see Dark Pitt. I don't know how, but I think he can. But he, he managed to see both of them. However, Matt, uh, Pitt, Dark Pitt wants Magnus to, Mag Mag to drink this potion so he can see the gods. Then, when, once, once he does that, he, he immediately sees Palutena, Viridi, Phosphor, Arlon, and Dintos. All five of them show up. So, this is the part where Magnus meets Palutena for the first time. Uh, and then, just trying to be reading Palutena and Viridi, apparently. Uh, and then Dintos just beating this, this, like, why am I even here? Uh, then talks a lot. Then Dinto talks a lot and uh, talks about what's up with Hades and, and his screw with Thanos, Pandora. We'll work at the Pandora later. Um, so many people there. So, so, so the point is, hey, guys. Okay, so Tinto's like, uh, you guys saying, okay, so he's so, so, so going on. This happening, and then you gotta do this. And so Palutena had just a plot to get everyone to other diff to different worlds so to stop Hades and his, uh, and his cronies. And that's pretty much it. So, next, more than the first day. So, again, we'll go to the first day. Focusing on Peach. So, uh, Pit ends up on Peach, Pit ends up in the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, and then Pit, Pit's kind of, kind of, uh, fanboying over the fact that he's in the Mushroom Kingdom now. Uh, and even, even Palutena's kind of surprised that, uh, you can go to the, just go to the Mushroom Kingdom, like, whenever. And then Pit's saying, wow, this is going to be like, be the legendary Mario? With Palutena saying, could be. Um, then stuff happens. Pit and Peach uh, uh, go talk to each other. Uh, stuff that's not really, not really not really important. Just uh, saying, hey, have you seen any you know, monsters, whatever? Peach saying no. But, like, saying, if I did, like, I have a lot of people to uh, help me out here. And then you do the whole Peach bake a cake thing. And Pit say, oh, cool, that's cool. I'll take that. And, and the, the, it, oh, this is funny. Um, Okay, so Pitt's saying, all right, then I'll, I'll be on my way. And Pitt's saying, what about the cake? And Pitt, Pitt's saying, all right, got, I'll take a slice to go. And then Palutena in, in, in Pitt's head saying, say something for me, Pitt. Then Pitt's saying to Peach, make that too. Then Verity shows up in, in, in Pitt's head saying, hey. And then Pitt's saying, okay, fine, three. Sorry, I have two goddesses in my head right now. Long story. And then Pitt's saying, I'll just bake a whole cake. So, um... Continue with the morning of the first day, focusing on Pitt, after he's gone with, uh, you know, went to Peach, got a cake, and then uh, him, him, Palutena, and Verity just enjoying the cake. Uh, and then Ditto saying, I guess the youth haven't had, like, have a use after all. Uh, anyway. And then Palutena saying that for some reason they can't contact Magnus. I mean, wonder, wonder, wonder why. But, like, um. And then Verity saying, please, di please tell me you didn't mess up. Uh. So, Pitt's trying to find where Madness is because Palutena, for some reason, can't contact him. Uh, and that's where that's where we go into, um, I believe that... Okay, so pick up somewhere else first. Uh, so pick up, somewhere, pick up somewhere else before going through, uh, through Phoenix. And, okay. If this is where I think this is, I think we're going to um, have a big revelation going on. So... So right here, because this is a very massive revelation, and here's the massive revelation. Have you ever wondered why I haven't used Lipard yet for a long time? I mean, granted, the hacks counter like hasn't been hasn't really been active for like a long time, but I have a specific reason why not. I took out I took out the uh, the hacks counter for a long time, so like I just never really you know said anything about it. And the reason because I didn't say anything about it because there's a, there's something happening with Lipard at this moment. Okay, more than the first day, focus on, on oh, this is Sabrina's world, but actually more focusing on Lipard. Okay, that's more Lipard and Pikachu, get ready, just get ready for this. So, uh, it's mostly the, all the other Pokemon, is mostly focused on Lipard. Uh, so, Kasai, Fungus, Lipard, uh, and Pikachu, and I believe that's someone, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, they're, they're all, they're all just talking about how, like, uh, they're all in Unova, I believe. Uh, yeah, they're on Unova, and this is Lightpart's territory, and like uh, they want to look for Silent. Uh, however, 
nothing. However, the thing is that Pikachu and Lipard are kind of together. Um, and they want and they wanted uh, Filmus and, and Kasai out of there, like immediately. Um, and then Pitch shows up after Pikachu saying, Hey, look, a distraction! And Kasai saying, Where? And then Pitch right there. I kind of want to make that, you know, Hey, look, a distraction! And then it would look, look their heads and everyone leaves. But instead of that happening, everyone looks back and it's actually a distraction. It's Pit. Um, and then Pit is saying, hey, I'm find where the gateway hub is. And then Kasai is saying, oh yeah, it's, it's pretty far from here. It's, we know we, we know where it is, but like you can't really access it right now. Uh, Pit saying who he is and talking about invasion going on. Uh, the Pit saying, um, point is, the big bad of my world is invading somewhere. I kind of I need to stop him. And then Kasai is saying, we're good. By the way, you have wings. Mine... What did I just say? Uh, wait, wait, I... Oh, this is, well, I think it says mine help... Cause I think I wrote a typo. It says mine helloing us of helping us. I should probably retype like some of these typos. Uh, Kasai is saying, by the way, mine helping us get to the closest city. However, Pitt's saying, oh, because, you know, his wings don't, don't really work that way. Whatever. And so, Pitt, Kasai, and Fungus leave. Now, here's the big part of episode 17. This is the part where it ends, okay? Pitt's saying, to, Pitt's saying this. So far, so good, I think. And why was that cat help? Hold on, wait, wait, one second. So far, so good, I think. And why was that cat hiding an egg? There we go. I'll leave that. I'll leave that, because that's actually the end of the episode. The big bombshell of what's uh, what, uh, what, what's up with Lightbard. Episode eighteen. Now, this is probably like the big uh, uh, the big episode because we're actually going to introduce um, Hades into the into the mix. But where he shows up is ridiculous, even for even by his standards. Kind of like episode eighteen. Friendship is chaos. Yep, we're going through we're going through a Rainbow Dash episode. And Hades shows up. Hilarity ensues? Question mark? Alright. So, episode begins with... Uh, yeah, uh, episode begins with like a recap of... Uh, of, the, of, of the episode... Um, Bill's PC, episode 12. So, let's go re so it starts with a recap with that. Because... Um, yeah, because the recap, and by recap, I mean like where Sabrina says with both Pikmin and Bill working on the gateway, we can get it running properly again. So from there, the reason why that's happened, it is absolutely chaos. Hence the title of the episode. As in the first day, freaking Hades wrecks the crowd out of Ponyville. That is, that is like the, the, the whole premise of the episode. So Hades shows up in Rainbow Dash's world completely wrecking everything. Uh, and it's also something here. I don't know if I actually will mention it. Maybe I have, maybe I won't. But, at, oh, if it doesn't show up, I'll, 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 uh, I'll tell, tell it after. So, Hades shows up, right? Hades shows up. Everyone is like, what to, what, what to do. Uh, Flesh Eye obviously is scared. And then Rainbow Dash wants to go all in because he's Rainbow Dash. He would be the first to, to actually charge in and see what, uh, what's, what's going on. Uh, and then a hate, when Hades shows up, he says to Rainbow Dash, My, my, aggressive, are we? So much for love and tolerate, hmm? <laughs> this, uh, this is actually kind of um, a thing with, with uh, my little opponent. They, they, they do have this love and tolerate kind of thing. Um, <coughs> but then again, Hades shows up doing absolute non uh, nonsense chaos. So... <laughs> Um, while the Rainbow Dash is flying up there talking to Hades, Hades literally punches the crud out, out of Pinkie Pie. And I put, specifically put in my notes, find a punch and crash sound effect preferring to a Dragon Ball Z. To, to, to show how, how hard he actually just absolutely beats up Rainbow Dash. Now, um, what happens next is, uh, for those who don't know my opponent at this point, um, for some of the later seasons, like, or even some of the early seasons, like, when the six when the six main characters like band together, they use like each of their like I guess powers or whatever. They create the they create this rainbow beam that well, kind of more like an anti evil beam, sort of say. 
Um, so that anything that's anything that's evil that gets hit by this beam will either like disintegrate or turn good. So um, what they're trying to do is have them do do that rainbow beam thing. However, it doesn't work on Hades because he's pure chaos. You even though it does work on him, but nothing happens. And he tries to hammer it up, saying, "Oh no, that stings! So painful! I'm dying!" Yeah, no, it didn't. <laughs> And saying like, so I'm dying to not. <laughs> and then and then Celestia and Luna show up. Nothing. And then um And then I think Applejack saying, We already have a Lord of Chaos, you don't need you to ruin everything. Okay. So if I'm alright, this is the part where uh No, not yet. So uh Hayes leaves because he just you know, it's just got bored and left. Uh, and then I went trying to figure out, like, I trying to like, just want to fix everything. And then Celestia Luna wants to, like, uh, try to be, try to um, finish out Hades or at least figure out what to do with him. So, uh, so, night of, so, night of the first day, Luna gets a dream about, uh, about what, what episode 11, the whole shutdown. So, she so mostly gets a dream via Rainbow Dash, because it, Okay, so the point is that Luna, by the way, can actually go into some other people's dreams. So that, that's one of her powers. So she can do that. So I'm trying to make this like kind of makes kind of makes sense for her. So what happens is that um, th like through him with his dream, Luna figures out what's going on and gets a uh, the uh, call back to the episode eleven where saying, "Okay, I'm, I'm shutting down the gateway. So I want to just go back to your home worlds." And Luna figuring out. Wait, what's going on? This is Rainbow Dash's dream, but who are these other people? Uh, and then um, Luna goes to Rainbow Dash in, in, in her dream and try to figure out what's going on because Dash knows things that she doesn't that would be kind of helpful for the situation. Uh, stuff happens, stuff happens. Uh, and then when... Okay, so this is the part where uh, things get interesting. So, Luna's considering we, we're gonna we're gonna need Discord. So, who Discord is? Just imagine imagine uh, imagine Hades, right? Except minus all the big evil stuff. Well, still kind of evil, just like not as much more like a playful kind of evil, kind of a a, a massive prankster kind of guy. So, Harry, a similar an idea to Hades, and just like he just wants to see the world. That's not like see the world burn, but he just want to see the world burn. But they said replace the fire with like mud. It's just like just like complete, complete utter nonsense. That's kind of his deal. Just do things absolutely randomly. So, after the second day, uh, oh, I'm not gonna mention that tonight. Nope, not mentioning this. Not mentioning this. Not mentioning this. Kind of embarrassing stuff for Rainbow Dash. Okay, so what happens next? Uh, Celestia shows up uh, and then notices that there's a giant fire beast heading heading their way, and, and Google goes into Manhattan, which is basically Malapoda, New York City. So, so just imagine a like a fiery beast entering New York City. That's what's, what's happening right now. It's Twin Bellows. <laughs> Twin Bellows shows up. Okay, so um, Twin Bellows shows up. Um, stuff happens. Spike shows up for a second, and then now I have alluded to several times in the past something about a, a third day in which there and which is everything seems to happen all at once in like the middle of the whole five days. I can kind of potential economy the middle of of this time span being the most ridiculous. So after the third day for Rainbow Dash, being the, the big climb the big uh, battle, the climax thing happening for Rainbow Dash's world. Alright, so Twin Bell shows up and and actually like doing doing whatever they can to um get uh get, get everyone safe, get on um stuff stuff happening, getting Discord in here. Uh so the point. So the point is, they're trying. They're preparing for the battle with twin bells. This is the part where I would pour like, if I could find 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 to do this little like battle screen, so I say like, like all the po all the points on one side and twin bells on the other side with like Kid Icarus boss battle music. Uh, 
And then there, there's people, just people talking, and then Discord shows up, and then um, I guess he just done. So he so he shows up, talks about talks about stuff, um, and then he was and Discord saying, "Yes, I think I've seen it before. Was it a movie? A cartoon? A comic? A video? Oh, right, a video game. Yeah. What what how what about this thing here?" And then Dash saying, some guy named Hades, told us to say hi to you. Uh, and then Discord saying, Hades? Big, mostly purple. I like a self entitled brat. Destroy stuff like it's no big deal. And Twilight saying, that's the one. And then Discord saying, well, I suppose it wouldn't be too much of a hassle to visit a fellow god of chaos. Before I, get to, before I continue, I made a video, as one of my, as one of my, my Little Pony videos. Uh, well, we talk about my Little Pony videos. I was or was it the no yeah it wasn't one of those that I mentioned. Uh, it would be kind of interesting if uh, Discord was drinking buddies with Hades. Idea, that was the idea. So if you heard me like put a card or something up here to to show that 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 one that call that uh, that I'm thinking about right now. So yes, I thought of this specific scene for years. These. And this is why, like, this is this script from, I believe, from 2016. That script, that the, the, the idea I had about um, Discord and Hades meeting together and just being drinking buddies, far beyond that. I planned this episode for this long. So anyway, with the battle, it ends with Discord just like, bam, done, fla uh, a flash up, and then you just whatever, just effed off. So 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 the twin bell's gone. Um, and then stuff annoying, and then, you know, talking trying to Rainbow Dash, and that's pretty much it for Rainbow Dash. It's all Rainbow Dash and all her part in, in his entire uh, arc. Uh, then, this is the part, remember, remember the part in um, Cooper's episode? The last part of it, Rainbow Dash kind of just kind of shows up out of nowhere? So, at that point in time, they found, uh, the punks found out to uh, put Rainbow Dash back into the gateway. Uh, and so, in, in the after the fourth day, again, this is where Iris shows up. Um, this is like immediately after the whole exchange with like Sabrina and Iris. Then Rainbow Dash shows up to say, oh, she made it. Uh, she made it. And this is the part where we're dashing. Uh, well, Sabrina says first, Rainbow, da Rainbow Dash, what are you doing here? And then Dash saying, I need to let you guys, you guys, I picked it to know about episode ends. So, th that, so in other words, at that point, she was going to talk about Hades, but I let the episode end here. Done. Okay, so those are the uh, two episodes that I fully scripted. They were all ready to go, but I decided not to edit them because I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. After this, I had a lot of plans to figure out like what ideas to go and um, what episode goes where up to the finale. But I've done nothing. I've not, I've not even started scripting. Technically, I started scripting episode 19, but I never really did anything about it the first like few lines of, well, lines of script. So, so the following can be and really in any episode order, really. Episode episode nineteen, or at, or at least like what's what I wanted episode nineteen was a Neku focused episode. Uh, I don't remember what I wanted Neku to do in this. To be honest, uh, I want I wanted him to like um I wanted him to stuff with I think it was stuff with uh, Joshua, uh, because he he has a lot of beef with, with Joshua and uh and Joshua still has a lot of beef with Thanatos. Um, because that thing still hasn't really been resolved. So I wanted the Neku episode to really focus fo focus on getting into the eventual Than Thantos battle. Uh, but this won't show up until a bit later. Uh, I just wanted him to mostly setting up until that point. Next would be a, um, part of the second day, mostly focused on Phoenix Wright and Mistress. Now... Remember before I talked about Pandora, I wanted Pandora. I want Pandora in, in, in this uh, encounter attack to be more like 
uh, Francisca in, in Ace Attorney. Because I wanted her to be a prosecutor. Now, I wonder, it's kind of silly, but, like, I wanted Pandora to be a prosecutor in this. Uh, so, 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 some sort of battle with Phoenix. And then it kind of justifies everything going with Magnus. Uh, and then, uh, again, it's stuff to go with Magnus, you know, the whole Magnus trial, and, like, how he's, like, you know, big, bulking guy, but giant sword, and everyone's thinking that he's, like, done something wrong, but he didn't, doesn't. Yeah, Pandora's the one who actually instigated all that and wanted to, um, you know, you know, send the jail so so that uh, no, no one will stop Pandora from like spreading all the evil in the underworld army uh, to Phoenix Wright's world. <coughs> and I wanted Mistress to do something else too. So it's kind of a continuation of Mistresses and thing going on uh, with Morgan. Uh, next would be again just the, the second episode of of, of Severo and Ginchio and technically and Dark Pit. Uh, I have no idea what they would do, to be honest. Uh, I'll get I'll, I'll get into a bit later later, but I'll, I wanted them to get more of a setup until their eventual battle with the Kid Icarus villain. Next would be the the actual episode, of the second day, which focuses on on the what's left after the second day, aside from the focus episode uh, with Phoenix and Mistress and the focus episode with Severa. So again, it's the pit focus episode. Where, which will focus on Lucas, Leighton, and Waluigi. Because I, I want an episode with like, with those characters, but they're not actually the most important characters in the story. So I want to have, like, a catch-all episode for all these characters. For for Lucas, for Leighton, for Waluigi. Yes, I had a Waluigi episode, but I never had a Lucas episode. Honestly, I don't know what to do for a Lucas episode, to, to be honest. And Leighton, same thing. I'd love to have a Leighton episode. Uh, but I have freaking no clue. I mean... Arlon's there in, in, in Layton world, but I, but of course I had no I don't know what to do with it. But um, almost immediately after that, I would have had the uh, the late the uh, a specific Layton episode with Lucas showing up with uh, with Russell Layton with the uh, boss battles. So there are four boss battles before before the next um, the, the next two like or well, three days. So. Uh, on this. So for each of the boss battles, uh, I would have one boss battle being against Hudra, you know the, the, the dragon, Layton Lucas. So finally, for Layton Lucas to defeat the dragon, good luck with that. I have no idea what to do with it. Uh, I had no plans for it, but because um, I kind of because I wanted because everyone else had their own set pieces, like, I kind of want to have their specific set pieces, and Hudra's kind of the last one there, you know, kind of well, for them first. Um, again, focus second next one again. Focus on, on like versus Pandora. So the, the battle with like Pandora would be on his own, his own episode. And this is, the, this is the third day, and the and the one from the other like Pandora episode would be the second day. So it makes sense with the whole like it's turning things where like uh, usually they would take like a couple of days if necessary, and then take like a break in between. Um, anyway, Shantae would be in this episode with Phoenix Wright. Uh, I had Patty in there, and her role would be to basically to transport Shantae into Phoenix Wright's world again. So she would be there again, and helping out with uh, Pandora again. I'm gonna do a call back to like technically, technically the best episode of Counter Attack, but because um, like Phoenix and Shantae would be there together again, but like for different reasons. Uh, the boss battle for Severa and Ginchio will be against Medusa. Cause I think I think I think it'll be fitting. I, I, maybe just me. I think it'll be fitting uh, for Medusa to be the the the, the boss for them. But then that could also maybe like do Medusa for with the Leighton Lucas, and then do P draw for for Severa get Shio, considering how action packed they would be. But I, I put Medusa for for Severa. And finally, um, mid so on the episode with the Thanatos boss battle. This will be the part where Mistress finally gets the God of Orite. And takes her and Kasai. I think I think other Pokemon. I don't know. To Neku's world. I don't know how they would do it considering how, how Neku's world works. But it would be with Neku's world, and then all of them will face against Thanatos. I have no idea what else to say. And then then the two separate days, like the third day for Pit, the fourth day for Pit. Again, I have no idea what to do for it. So I probably would do like um 
all the lesser porn characters for the third and fourth day, and then uh, have the fourth day be more like kind of a, a kind of a generic like um, cool down before the like like the the uh, the calm before the storm kind of type of episode for everyone. Uh, but again, focus, focus on Pit. And then the last episode would be the fifth, called the fifth day, in which kind of what well, my character focused episode, and then everyone, go, and then the whole thing we fixed, and then everyone faced against Hades, and then the end. That's pretty much it for Counterattack. I thought all, all the all the plans, everything I ever wrote for like years for Counterattack. Uh, sorry if it's like the video is like very very terrible, cause it is. But I, I just wanted to give that out right away, uh, so I can just give closure to Counterattack. Uh, if I do any more Counterattack episodes, like for whatever reason, they'll have to be from after all this happens. So like if I if I went for whatever reason, I would make a Counterattack episode, label it seventeen. It would be from all after all of what I just said happened. And that's why I kind of don't do Counter-Attack full episode anymore. I'm mostly, like, after I did, um, even even before I did uh, the Lightning Bots episode, I'm mostly doing, like, side things. And each of those side things were after Counter-Attack, which is why, even though it's why, I noticed, like, um, before the episode I had with Severa, the, the whole side story, Severa was, like, kind of, kind of nice, kind of, whatever, before that, she was still very soon there, eh? That's because, like, over the course of the five days, Severa has calmed down a lot. So, how was that going to know that that Fire and Fates will show up and will have, like, a more calmer uh, Severa Selena? How was I supposed to know that? That that idea came before Fire and Fates came out. So, how was I supposed to know that? So, I, I, at least the canon is, or at least, like, some Fire Emblem canon is, is following my rules. So, uh, I guess that is all for what was supposed to be counterattack. Um, I got nothing else to say. There's no, like, next time counterattack. So, see you guys later for something else.